What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchUp Free Essentials. So in today's video, we're going to talk about how to create an animation from a SketchUp model in the free version. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so for this video, we're going to use the Student Housing Study by J. Brent A. in the 3D Warehouse. So you can download this and follow along. Note that this building does have a section cut in it. So you're probably going to want to go into your display and toggle off section cuts so you can see the whole building. But what we want to do now is we want to use the animation settings and specifically the scenes in the free version of SketchUp in order to create a fly through or fly around animation. And so basically the way that SketchUp does this is it animates the camera movement between different points. And so you can find this by going over into the scenes section right here and adding different scenes. Now, one thing to note about this, and we'll uh, check out a workaround, but um, at the moment, there isn't a way to export these animations that I'm aware of. So you can't export these to an MP4. I do have a free workaround that we'll talk about in the end of the video. But for now, let's just go into the scene section and click on the option to add a scene. And so notice how when we add a scene, what this does is this creates a little thumbnail right here. And it's a scene that we can get back to by clicking on this like this. And so notice how whenever we do that, SketchUp is going to animate the transition to that camera location. Well, let's say that we were to create a second camera. So something like this right here. We'll just click on the plus button again in order to create a second scene. So notice how now we've got two scenes in here. And what SketchUp is doing is it's animating the transition between those two different scenes, like this. So notice how when I click on them, it's just basically animating a transition between the different camera points. So let's say that we were to create a third scene. So we'll do something like this right here. But we're just gonna click on the plus button in order to add a third scene. Notice how now I have three scenes. And if I click between them, it's animating that camera transition like this. Now, notice that there's a button in here for play scenes animation. So if I click on that, what this is going to do is this is going to automatically create or it's automatically going to transition between the different scenes like this. And so notice what it's doing right now is it's moving the camera and then it's pausing at every camera point or stop location. Now you can adjust that by going over and we're going to go ahead and pause this animation by going over into your gear or settings. Notice how there's an option in here to adjust the transition time and the delay time. So the transition time is going to adjust the amount of time it takes to transition between one scene and the other. So notice how if I set this to 10, this animation is really slow to animate between the two objects right here. So we're gonna bump that back down to two seconds and notice how the delay time can be adjusted to set a longer delay between the different scenes. So if I click on play here, what this is going to do is it's going to pause for five seconds, then it's going to transition the animation to the next point, then it's going to pause for five more seconds. On the other hand, if you want this to be more of an uninterrupted animation, you can set that delay time to zero. And if you do that, that means that your camera is just going to kind of bounce between the different camera points. So if I click on play right here, notice how it's going to kind of bounce without any pause. And when it reaches the end of the movement, it just loops back to the original animation like this. Now, one thing is if your SketchUp just isn't showing these transitions, you might've accidentally unchecked this little option right here. So notice how when you do that, and this is a performance thing, so if you do want to be able to just move between these without it animating, you can toggle off enable scene transitions like this. And so note that when you're working on this, you can adjust the camera location on these for each one of them by adjusting the scenes. So for example, say I wanted scene two to be higher up, what I could do is I could kind of rotate and move my camera and then click on the three dots and click on the option to update this. You want to make sure that you've got the box or the little uh, toggle for camera location checked and you can click on OK. And so now if I click on this, notice how that second camera view is higher than it was before. So you control the location of the camera in here um, by adjusting the camera location that's saved within the scene. 
And so in the free version of SketchUp, there's no way to animate objects moving, right? You can't animate an object that starts here and moves over here. However, what you can do is you can animate the movement of section planes in order to make things appear and disappear. So, for example, let's say that we were to add a section plane. So I'm just going to click on the section plane, tap the right arrow key, and then place this kind of at the back side of this framed wall, like this. And then I'm going to use the move tool in copy mode. So tap M, tap control, and then single click and move my mouse this way. So what I've got is I've got two section planes, right? And if I double click on this one to activate it, then this one is on. If I double click on this one to activate this one, then everything is shown. And so what you can do is you can create two different scenes. So our first scene, we want this to be our action active plane. And we're going to click on the plus button right here and click on save for the current style at the moment. And so what this has done is this has created a scene where this plane is active. And so now I'm going to double click on this one and add a scene where this scene is active. So we've got a scene where the first plane is active, a scene where the second plane is active. And if you click on this, notice what SketchUp is going to do is it's going to animate the transition between those different section planes like this. So you can use this in order to create construction style animations. And what I would recommend is once you have those section planes created, I would toggle off section planes in your style and I would update my scene Notice how it's going to ask if we want to save this to the style, and we're going to say yes. We're going to click on OK, and then we're going to do the same thing. And we don't need to do it with this one because those both have the same style enabled. But notice how we're able to use this in order to create that construction animation. And so I'll create a more detailed video on this in the future, but this is how you can create moving animations in SketchUp free. Unfortunately, one of the things about the free version of SketchUp is there's no option to actually export this to like an MP4 animation or something like that. In order to have that option, you would have to have the desktop version. So what I would recommend is I would recommend using a tool like OBS Studio. So OBS Studio is just a tool that is free and open source and it allows you to do a screen record. And what you could do is you could actually record what's on your screen to a video file in order to have that. And so with OBS Studio Active, what you would do is you would just create a scene and then within your sources, you'd click on the plus button, you would add a display capture and you would just pick whatever monitor you're using like this click on OK and notice how that's going to basically record whatever's on this screen. Then you would just click on start recording and you would run your animation. So we'd start with scene one, click on the play button and OBS Studio is recording in the background. It's recording what's on your screen, but it's going to record that to a video. And then once you've done that, you would just stop your recording and then you would have your video in here that you can watch and play. And you could cut it down with a video editing software or something like that. But you can use this to export your SketchUp free animations to a video file. All right, so that's where I'm going to end this video. Leave a comment below. Let me know if you have any questions about animations in SketchUp. I just love having that conversation with you guys. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. And I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.